trying to catch them from one right before they cross over to my left because really from the other side we are against the sun is that a really good picture struggling from the other side you can see when the animal on this move it's a very slow when it comes to uh, the breeding head breeding head all on the family breeding has a lot more quick and also on responding they get to see car all of them they get more inquisitive checking on the car the movement is very quick so all the dagger boys or old boys there you can see a lot more slow and the horns look like heavy Buffalo all together like this are more than 15 up to 20. Let me move forward then we can see nice there. The buffalo are more than 15 up to 20. The security is very strong. If anything, try to hunt them. Really, of course, buffalo are going to protect itself. They're going to fight back. Buffalo are the gregarious species. They're always in herds. Especially if you come across the breeding area, you can see how many are there from 100 up to 200 upwards. You may find them like that way. Sometimes you find them more solitary animal, but it's very seldom like that way. It could be the old wounded buffalo that even himself he won't keep up with the matrix society also from the bachelor head you stay behind but that is it's on really on top it's really in high risk I'll, I'll call it in this way it might be on on the menu of all predators that are around here as far as mainly lions because if he's more sultry, it will be a lot more easy for the pride of lion to hunt him. Definitely our pride, Kuhuma pride, which is normally hanging around in the area, they will be a lot more happy to come across with a single buffalo. Because it will be easy job. If you really like this, as I mentioned earlier before, they're a lot more protected to each other when it comes to get hunted. Security is too high here. They're gonna fight back lions and lions suddenly back off. But the lone buffalo, it will be a lot more easy for the pride of lion to take it. Bear in mind that some of these guys here yeah, are still young. It happens that they withdraw from the metro society with the reasons. Competition is becoming more. Uh, evil to them because really they don't have even chance to rest if they try to mate they find the strong males are taking over they're pushing them away so they really decided to move off from the metro society and join bachelor head and stay and gain more energy and sometimes it happens because of a dry season because there's not much grass around in the area they start to break up from the metro society form small groups of males because they can females if they really put themselves in small groups they're in problem big problem because when it comes to security they're not a lot more powerful than as males they are lions it will be easy to get to hunt them so females they keep themselves in one group it could be over hundreds and hundreds 
so male easily they can break up and form small heads around an area and cover area very nicely with grass when it comes to water because water coming so low and low then easy for them they can get water and survive around in the area in a dry area the Zebra and the kudu in front are all traveling together. When I stop here and take a look, Behind the kudu zebra coming not so far. Look like they're all traveling together. Very seldom to see it like that way. Kudu and the zebra all together. What you normally see hanging up together of kudu and pala. It, 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 it's more like a form of security. it look like uh, our female leopard she's very close to the cut line might head it to furthermore west close the cut line to our neighboring farm because as I listen to the radio well here it's quite a lot of tracks of hyena getting up and down the cut line going to the other side which means she might made a kill inside the other side the hyena was just following behind we are going to check the area of three house dam, more this area and we're to our breakfast with them and check what will be around in that area. Really, I believe rhino or lions that might be coming towards breakfast with them, even other leopards.